Well, you guys, now it's time for today's guest. Model Haley Khalil made a splash when she was featured in the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Edition as a contestant in the 2018 Model Search. Now she's been named a Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Rookie and is featured in the 2019 issue. Take a look. Haley Khalil. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. So thanks for being here. Yeah, um, Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue just came out, and yes. you were named as Rookie of the Year. Was I? Yes. So how does that oh, feel? It feels amazing. I was like, was she? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, wait. Now I'm like, wait. <laughs> I was like, oh. I was check the cards. <laughs> No, it feels amazing to be a rookie. I was not a model before all this happened. I was actually working in an immunology lab. So my life How do you know what that word means? <laughs> I don't know, that yeah. was hot. The study of immunity. So you study diseases in a lab, seeing how they affect the human body. And now look at me, I'm, I'm on a beach wearing bikinis. So, wait, were you, I'm just curious, were you like patient facing when you were in the lab? I was, so yes. Because you I probably would, like <laughs> freaked out a lot of patients because you're so hot. <laughs> Girl, I did not look like this in the lab. It was no makeup, it was like a bun on the top of your head. Uh, I'm sure people were <laughs> yeah. very nervous to get their test results from you for many reasons. Um, what was your reaction to when, you know, coming from that field when you first heard you were a rookie? Well, going through the entire process of the Sports Illustrated Swim Search, I was clueless. I mean, I had never modeled before. I had done like senior photos. You do like the cute little photo shoots with your friends that have cameras. And then when you step in front of Yutsai, who's a world renowned photographer, you're in a swimsuit and you're in front of the entire SI swimsuit family. You're like, please don't fuck this up. <laughs> this is not gonna be good. Um, but it, it's definitely been a learning process, just like anything. Like when you're studying for a test, this was studying for the test of being in Sports Illustrated Swimsuit. So I'm, very thankful to be here today, and uh, there was a lot of awkward photos in between all the good ones that they're showing. <laughs> <laughs> and what does that mean to be Rookie of the Year? Um, it, it's really such an honor because it means that you brought something to Sports Illustrated Swimsuit this year. Mm -hmm. um, it's them saying that we want you here and you're here for a reason, and hopefully, fingers crossed, they want me back. Yeah, that's yeah. great. And your husband, Matt, plays for the Houston Texans. He does, So yes. was he so excited? Okay, so and the <laughs> I'm interested to see what his, his perspective is. Well, initially, I mean, he married me when I was working in a lab. So he married the woman that was in the lab coat with the no makeup. And then when he started seeing me in this world, he was like, dang. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's my wife. Right. And he didn't know you were hot before. <laughs> <laughs> was this kind of like the sparkle takes yeah. off the glasses yeah. and she's yeah. a hot? Uh, 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 yeah. You should see photos of me when I was like 16, 17. Oh I God. had the transition lens. I had like a straight up bowl cut. Wow. Oh, I would was, love whoa. to see you in a bowl cut. I, I <laughs> actually a think it would still be hot. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. I'm thinking of going back to it. I think, oh, I think please it'd be do, hot. Do it. Oh, God, no. So you fell for your brains first. That's exactly. a beautiful thing. I'd like to think that. I hope that's the case. But yeah, I mean, he never saw me as a model. So right. then when he started seeing me as a model, oh my at God. first he was that's a little hilarious. like, what is happening to my wife? And now he's <laughs> like, I want the biggest blown up photo of you in my office. Like, the skippiest bikini I can find. I mean, he's so surprised. Supportive, and I'm so grateful to have him. That is so awesome. And what was like shooting the, the rookie spread in Kenya this year? Kenya is unbelievable. I've been there. It's, it's mm -hmm. an incredible country. It's amazing. So when MJ, who's the editor of Sports Illustrated Swimsuit, told me I was going to Kenya, right. I'm really good at science, not great at geography. So <laughs> I was like, oh, safari. We're going to be on, right. you know, uh, on the plains of Africa. And then she's like, no, 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 you're shooting on the beach. I'm like, Kenya has beaches? I, don't, I didn't know that. The second we got there, it was gorgeous. Some of the most beautiful beaches I've ever seen in my entire life. And I would go back in a heartbeat. Right. People were great and the food was amazing. It, uh, it is really good. And you mentioned Yusai, the photographer. He yes. shot you last year in Belize, right? He and did. And again, this year in Kenya. 
Is it easier working with a photographer again for a second time? Do you feel more comfortable? Oh yeah, absolutely. The first year that I shot for Sports Illustrated Swimsuit, I was shaking the entire first couple of bikinis. Right. I mean, you're like, I don't know what to do with my hands. I don't know what to do with my body. <laughs> I don't know how to make this look natural. Yeah. Um, and he helped me through it. He really did because I was clueless. So then the second year when you're used to shooting with a photographer, you kind of know his style. You know how he coaches you through the moves. And from there on out, it just felt comfortable. It was more like a dance instead of me just awkwardly like, does this look good? Is, yeah. this, is this the right angle? <laughs> right. Well, well, on that note, see, um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I am a thirsty person. I love hosting a thirst chat. And beach <laughs> season is coming up. It, I always feel awkward when I'm taking the shirtless bathing suit pic, though mm -hmm. I you know it looks like it's such a natural. Do you have any tips mm -hmm. for me to, like, when posing? <laughs> like, do I, like, you know, accentuate... Like my butt, do I like chest? I, I've been told I have a good chest. Yeah. You do. So. Look at those pecs. Those are <laughs> nice. You. you gotta Thank show you. them off. You gotta know what, you know, know your angles. That's okay. really what it's all about is knowing what angle looks good to you. Because between all of these like good photos that they publish, there are so many awkward ones. I'm not gonna lie. There's like one where your eye is closed and one where like you have waves in your face. You just, Take 150 photos. Right. Find the one that you like and post that one. Okay, I will do that. That's all you gotta do. Wow, well, I can't make, wait to see that feed. Yeah. How do you make it look like you're not trying too hard? Uh, oh Somebody my God. wants to know. <laughs> I, I am the wrong person to ask because the entire time I'm thinking in my head, don't look awkward. Like, please, Haley, do not look awkward. Um, so you're just, you just have to relax. I think that's the biggest thing is the second you relax and just start enjoying yourself and being in the moment, the photos start to look better. And then you don't look like you're trying because you're not trying. You're just kind of enjoying being in Africa, being around an amazing group of people and just being in the water. I love that. And this all started because you went to an open casting call. Yes. So, like, how did you find out about it? And, like, when you started, were you like, I don't know how to... Mo like, you said you don't want to yeah. hold your hands. Like, yes. how do you go into it and, and book it? And now you're, like, <laughs> the hottest. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. No, again, it's, it's a learning process. So what Sports Illustrated Swimsuit did is it was their first year. They held an open casting call. So you could submit a 60-second video on Instagram, of all things, oh. just telling people why you wanted to be a part of the magazine. So I was sitting, getting ready for a girlfriend's wedding, and I saw that they were doing this, and I put my phone on selfie mode, and I just recorded a video. And I submitted it and I thought, you know, now it's in their hands. If they want me, they want me. If not, you know, I, at least I tried. And when they contacted me, I about lost my mind. Oh my <laughs> God. Like, oh. there's no way this is real. And then I saw the blue check mark on their Instagram and I'm like, it's real. I can't believe this. And oh, I love that. From there on out, it's just been two amazing years that have completely, completely changed my life. And I'm so grateful for it. That's so cool. And as you mentioned, you studied biomedical sciences. Yes. So, I mean, where do you think you'd be if you weren't, you know, now this like super Model, but also do you think maybe there's a future where you're mixing, you know, bikinis and science? Like, maybe you're in the lab. Like, I don't know, I'd watch. Oh, well, thank you. No, absolutely. I mean, I was studying for my MCAT, so I was preparing to go to medical school. My best friend and I actually were on the exact same track, and she just graduated from medical school. So it's interesting to see where she is now and where I am now, but I would love to go back. She's like that supermodel bitch. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I hate her. Yeah. So she's watching right now. Being like, <laughs> She'll like post my pictures and laugh at them. So she did this series on her Instagram of like my Sports Illustrated swimsuit photos and her recreating them. Oh, I love and they were my favorite mm -hmm. photos I've ever seen. She's like awkwardly like in a bikini <laughs> like, hey, what's up? No, I, I would love to go back to the sciences. I, I absolutely love the sciences. And there's no reason why you can't mix a little bit right. of this with a little bit of that. Yeah. Well, especially yeah. this edition mm -hmm. of Sports Illustrated we've spoken about is most diverse in history, mm -hmm. celebrating women of all you know shapes and sizes and colors, and so and and you also being this whole intellectual science rock mm -hmm. is really pushing Sports Illustrated into a future. Yeah, no, absolutely, and I think that what Sports Illustrated Swimsuit has always done is they're trying to push models as as personalities and mm -hmm. as people because yep. that's what we are. We're just people. So back in the day, Sports Illustrated was actually one of the first to name their models. Right. So they would put the name, it was Tyra Banks. It wasn't just model one, model two, model three. And now they're just trying to carry on with that tradition and saying, this is a 55 year old and she looks amazing in a bikini. Or, you know, this is a girl who was in the sciences and just because she's smart does not mean she can also look good in a bikini. Right. Like right. it's all these things and it's just people owning their bodies and owning who they are. And it's, it's so beautiful to see it right in front of you on print. Yeah, and do you have any advice for, you know, young girls out there who they want to be on the cover of a magazine too? <laughs> <laughs> well, you just got to keep trying. When I was 17, I remember I went to a modeling agency because just like many girls, I watched like America's Next Top Model and I was like, I can do that. <laughs> and I walk into this agency and I, they tell me I'm too short and I'm too big. 
And so I thought, you know what? If they want me to change who I am to do something, I'm not going to do it. And that's when I focused on academics. Right. So you're going to hear a lot of no's in this industry, like more than you'll ever want to hear in your life. But you just have to wait for the one yes. So if somebody out there looks at you and goes, you know what, I'm going to give you a chance, it will happen. And just, just wait for that yes, because it's out there. And do you ever still get nervous for shoots? I mean, last yeah. year in Belize was the first one. I mean, are you more relaxed now when you go out there? You know, you're never really super relaxed because there's a camera in your face. You guys know. I mean, look at all these cameras. I don't know. Yeah. I've said some stupid things in this show because I'm so relaxed. <laughs> Have, yeah. Haven't we all? I'm smoking a cig. We're canceled. Like, yeah. oh. Teach me your ways. I, like, I need to know like the relaxed on set, like holding a cigarette. Like, let's go, guys. <laughs> Come on. No, I mean, I'm always going to be super nervous just because it's not really what I ever saw my life going towards. Um, and when you're used to not having that sort of set, um, it's, it's always hard to get used to it. So I'll always be the one on, on set that's shaking the first couple photos. Sure. And then after that, when, when you're around you know, your friends and you learn who these people are and the photographer, then you're like, I'm good, I'm fine. These photos are gonna be great. But before that, yeah, I'm always nervous, of course. <laughs> and what's happening in the near future? You know, I would love, again, to shoot for Sports Illustrated Swimsuit. They are like a family to me. They really are some of the best people in this industry that I've ever met. Um, I have bucket list clients that I would love Ooh. to shoot with. Ooh, I that's you. Uh, <laughs> Pantene, girl, because I'm a redhead. I'm like, I want to do yeah. that thing where your hair, like, you get out of the cab and it's just, like, bouncing. <laughs> like, hey. But I would love to do that. Cover girls on my list. Yeah. I've worked yeah. with Maybelline. They were incredible. Um, I love Forever 21. That's where I get all so my love. stuff. Yeah. I'm not going to spend a bunch of money on a shirt. So <laughs> no. I'd love to work with them. Just They can pay me in clothes. I'm like, oh, just, yeah, just give me a bunch of They clothes. would probably kill to yes. work with you. Yeah. Yeah. Just clip this out and send it to them. Right. I'm sure they're going to just like show up at your house and be like, please. That would be great. <laughs> just show up with a box of like leggings and crop tops, and I'm sold. Yeah, I'll work with it. them in a heartbeat. Well, we're excited to see everything you continue to do. You're awesome. Haley, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you so much.